Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about AWS S3 versioning and how we can set the AWS S3 lifecycle rule. Okay guys, so what is today our agenda is like how we can create a S3 lifecycle rule and then how we can enable AWS S3 versioning and what could be the benefit if you are enabled AWS S3 versioning and how it is like creating the delete marker and if you want to delete the delete marker how you can delete the delete marker and what the use of the delete marker i will explain that and then i will like show you like how you can permanently delete that object for the delete marker okay guys so let's move on to the aws console so let's come so let's come aws console so I have already logged it in AWS console and this is the S3 bucket and if you just search here like S3 then it will come S3 so let's come here and I have already one bucket so let's create first one new bucket S3 something like any name you can give here as per your need but guys keep in mind this name is like a unique in a you globally and if you see right when we are going any other resources aws resources then that the resources belong to particular global though aws like s3 bucket is a global region though it is specified you are creating specific region but it will be globally validation like kind of like suppose i am creating bucket here like demo s3 version and this is the region right same bucket you cannot create with the different region also. So that kind of restriction is there and also bucket naming conversation that some naming conversation is there. You cannot make like uh, some special character or some this, these are the rule like uh, bucket naming conversation rule. So you guys can have a look that some restriction is there. Okay guys and there is a mean max character. Okay different kind of restriction is there. Okay so let's create the bucket. see so our bucket creation is done so now question is how we can enable the version okay on existing bucket or during creation of so bucket right so think i have created this bucket and this existing bucket how we can enable the version so let's go to the bucket inside bucket if you see like this is the object where you can upload your object and this is the properties and this is the place we can edit our version if you see right here it's mentioned like bucket version now currently it is a disable okay guys and if you would like to enable this so once you enable also guys keep in mind once you enable you cannot disable so you can suspend that but you cannot disable permanently okay guys that also keep in mind and before enabling this versioning like let me give you like real life some scenario where this version aws s3 version basically used also guys keep in mind this will be more charge why because multiple copy what the version basically Whenever you are uploading your object to a particular S3 bucket, if the same file, then it will keep as a different version, different kind of version and it will give the version number. Okay, guys. Real life example, if I give like suppose in our organization, every time we are releasing different kind of uh, like project, right? And different version. Mm -hmm. Suppose you are releasing uh, like a 20.01 version and, and tomorrow you are releasing same project, set of project. You are releasing 22.01 or maybe next month you are releasing 22.0.2 different kind of project we are releasing right in the different kind of version project each and every month right and if you would like to maintain uh, i know that uh, that source code we can manage different version in github uh, gitlab also but in aws cloud if you would like to manage those different kind of source code right different version with different version that purpose also you can use it and one more int interesting thing is like if you enable the version, right? Suppose by default or by mistake or accidentally you deleted that object, right? Then it won't delete actually. It will just change that object instead of version, it will change the delete marker. So I will show you one by one. So let's first enable this. Well, we are enabled this one. So after enable, it will say like create the lifecycle rule to manage this. So I will show you that also how we can create. So before that, let's try. To get some idea like let's upload some object here and we'll see how it is managing that so what content basically let me upload this one one index.html i am just uploading here
this is uploaded right now one version right so let me go to the bucket again so how we can see the versioning like a hotel object copy is there right so if you click here then you can see here the version id is given and the object but guys keep in mind suppose on existing bucket before you suppose you not enable that uh, object right same object maybe index.html you uploaded but that time you did not enable the version right then what it will happen this version id will be null and next time whenever you are uploading that those particular object the version id will come so that point keep in mind okay guys in once you create the bucket and if you enable that then only you will get all the version id but once you created the bucket and you uploaded some object and after some certain point of time you thought like okay let's enable the versioning then all the version will keep but what it will happen this or uh, that previous one before enabling the version that will be the null here no version id will be there okay guys that point keep in mind now let's try to up, uh, edit this file and upload again so let me show you that now since i have only single file right single copy so that's why we are not able to see any version so let me just edit here something remove something here let's upload now it is uploaded right so let me go to the bracket again and if you just show versioning if you just click now we can able to see that another version is uploaded here right so that we can able to see here and here is the date change right and if you see the size also it's getting changed now question is uh, how we can delete right this particular version so let me show you suppose if you just like this you cannot able to see right if you just try to delete this one this object accidentally suppose you are deleting this object and what it will ask just delete and you delete it now you are not able to see here right does it mean all the object is deleted no this is the uh, advantage of enabling version if you accidentally deleted the object then your original object won't delete let's click on show version then you will see here it's added the delete marker on that two version whatever you have right that is keep as it is and on top of that here it is added delete marker now question is how then when this object will get delete right that is the one question right so if you want to delete this particular delete marker then we can set the life cycle rule by using that also we can delete or if you want to delete by console forcefully that also is possible let me show you one by one so if you just want to delete this delete marker how we can do let's select this one and click on delete and just let me just try here permanent delete here not delete is confirmation is like a you would like to delete permanently something like that confirmation now let's go again here now you have to see your object right what we delete only the delete marker we have deleted so this is how we can delete our delete marker also then once you delete the delete marker you are able to see the, your object here without enabling the show version okay guys now question is like uh, okay let me again enable the delete marker here then i will show you how we can uh, life cycle rule how we can use it now the okay now let's go to here let's show the version now i get delete marker came right and if you want to specific object if you would like to delete permanent right let me show you here or it will say like permanent delete here permanent delete means it will be permanently delete guys that point keep in mind it's not like that it will be like a delete marker will give here okay guys so if someone deleted like a show versioning and then deleted then it will be the problem here okay guys keep in mind that one now let's go to that how we can set the life cycle rules let's go to the management tab here this permission tab i have already explained in my previous session uh, when i have demonstrated like uh, how we can deploy a web application by using s3 bucket right in that i have explained this permission tab so if for uh, this is basically all the defined kind of bucket level access policy permission you can set so if you guys not yet watch or if you guys interested to know more about deep details the permission then i will like to request you guys please have a look that previous video about the s3 bucket how we can launch a static website okay guys now let's go to the management tab here here if you see right here that we have the life cycle rule so now let's and here we have the replication rule also 
and here we have the in inventory configuration also but today's demo i will talk about not these two maybe in subsequent video i will talk about this let's talk about that life cycle rule how we can create let's create life cycle rule let me give you that life cycle rule and here two options you would like to specify any prefix or any particular object you would like to apply this life cycle rule or you would like to apply this life cycle rule entire bucket whatever object is there everything you want to apply this kind of two option is given if you select the first option then you have to give the prefix name but if you select the entire bucket then you no need to give the any prefix or any which particular prefix you would like to apply this for life cycle rule okay guys so let's select this one or apply all the object and in that let's acknowledge that so if you select this one we have to acknowledge that so let's acknowledge and here the rule different kind of rule here one option is the move the current version object between the storage classes and move the non current version object between the storage classes current version non current version okay guys or expire the current object version here or permanent delete the non current version object or delete expiry object delete marker or incomplete or uh, multiple object so if, as per your need right you can select here or if you want to delete permanent non non current version object that also you can give and if you want to delete expiry object that also you can give so after how many day you want to expire now we have to set the rule right after maybe one day or 10 day or 30 days whatever you would like to your based on your requirement you have to set now permanent delete non current version after how many days you would like to maybe 180 days after you would like to delete permanent now here maybe you have 10 record okay non current version now how you how many object you want to keep written so maybe you said okay you have like 1000 from there maybe you want to keep 100 you have to keep always 100 record 100 that version will be keep here okay guys so accordingly whatever you select right it will be select here accordingly and then we have to click create rule so once you create a, a rule right now this particular bucket this rule is applied and whatever we have selected accordingly it will delete that uh, delete marker object accordingly okay guys so like this we can set the life cycle rule also and if you now want to clean up this all this thing right so how we can clean up so let me show you that if you just select all and then here click delete then here it will say permanent delete if you select this permanent delete right then it will delete everything including the marker also let me show you that also all everything is deleted now if you see here now go to management and we have still life cycle rule right now let's try to uh, clean up this bucket let me see try to delete let's give the bucket if bucket have any object right it don't allow you to delete now since every object i have deleted right so now it is allow you to you to delete let me show you that it will give some error now i here i have object right so let me show you that i am trying to delete this bucket it will say please first empty that bucket then only you able to delete okay guys but life cycle rule whatever uh, another intention rule you have said that will not give you anything everything including everything will delete but if you have object then first you have to delete the object then only you can able to delete So I hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then please do like share and subscribe with your uh, subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me and and if you have any doubt or any suggestion please put those doubt whatever question you have in this video comment section I will address those in my next subsequent video okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye